This is a Mercedes Sprinter van, but it's not just any Mercedes Sprinter van. It's a Mercedes Sprinter van that can do this. Graham, what's wrong with your voice? <clears throat> I've got really bad throat infection. This particular Sprinter 4x4 is the 516 model. That means <coughs> this particular Sprinter 4x4 is the 516 model. That means it's got a capacity. Is it a 316? I thought it was a 516. No, no, you're right. Pretty though that bit of green lane is, doesn't really show you how capable the Sprinter 4x4 actually is. Need to go somewhere better, I think. Millbrook. So, we're on the way to Millbrook. My voice is considerably better, so uh, while we're on the uh, motorway, thought I'd take the opportunity to tell you what it's like on the road. And I have to say, it is remarkably civilised. It really does drive like any other Sprinter. You're obviously sat a bit higher with the extra ground clearance, and uh, the off-road tyres on this one do throw up quite a bit of noise. But otherwise it feels exactly the same, there's no more body roll, the steering feels a bit same, it is a little bit heavier but it's still good and precise. Now you were saying earlier that these are uh, still built on the normal Sprinter production line. So it's not a conversion, so because it's built on the Sprinter production line it's got the same lead time when you order your new Sprinter. Um, and also you get the same warranty and the same service um, as, as any Sprinter. And if weight was an issue, you could always go for the 5 ton version. I suppose more people, more buyers probably do. Well, we're uh, almost at Millbrook and uh, I have to say I'm really looking forward to seeing what this thing can do. Millbrook Proving Ground, one of my favourite places. It's a beautiful day, my voice is back, and we've got the Sprinter 4 before to see what it can really do. Rob here is going to show me the ropes. Last of the sand hills. Yep. Just keep to the left a yep. little bit. Ha! <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is that's one it. very big that's hill. That's Concentrate it. on keeping your wheels straight. That's astonishing. This is a van. <laughs> I'd think twice about doing this in a Land Rover, never mind a van. So you're thinking you're a three and a half ton van? Yeah. You can even have a four by four Sprinter, which is a five ton. <laughs> yeah. So up there we go. go. So bit of gas. That's it. Keep it moving. Just keep it moving. Go on. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Don't let it stop. Keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. <laughs> keep it moving. Keep it moving. That's pretty incredible. <laughs> you can't say it's just a van, can you? No. Now this does have uh, electronic traction control, doesn't it? That's correct. Yeah. So you can use it on the road, even when it's in four-wheel drive, you don't get any wind up between the axles. Right. And you don't do any damage to your transmission. 
<laughs> so you can see that this is fitted with the optional sump guide. That's yes, a good thing. Yes. <laughs> Traction control stops uh, wheel spinning on the brakes. That's correct. And then yeah. sends the power to whichever yeah, wheel's got the most it. grip. So the wheel starts spinning, it breaks that wheel. So it transfers the power through the differential into the wheel which has got grip. Right. So nice and slow, using a bit of brakes as we go down in and then just... Now these the look pretty sharp and you wouldn't credit yeah. something this long with being able to get over them necessarily, no. but not a problem. Just this like has 10 centimetres of ground clearance. It's a hundred millimetres more than the standard two-wheel drive. So it's four inches higher than a standard two-wheel drive sprinter. So that's going to be what, 200 in total? Probably a little bit more than that. And then we can turn to the right up the steep hill. On these hills you really can feel the traction control working. Yeah. It's quite remarkable. Yeah. What we'll do, we'll cut across now and go over the log run secret here is to keep your wheels straight and just keep it moving. That's it, so just keep it moving, just keep it moving. That's quite, that, that, again, that's more articulation than you'd reckon it has. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh. So you could have um, DSR as an optional extra on this, which is, you know, um, hill descent control, yep. but this hasn't got it, but it's no problem, just use your brakes, it's got yep. a full anti-lock braking system. Well, I mean, is, <coughs> I've got the brakes on a bit, yeah. it doesn't seem to be even threatening to lock. No. So we're going to go up our next hill, three quarters of the way up this hill, we'll be turning to the right. Oh no, 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 no. Easy no. peasy, keep it no. going, keep it going. No, That's it, no. now as slow as you can, as slow as you can. Really slow, I want to leave you on the angle. Go on, lean, no, lean your no, way, lean no. your way. Go on, lean no, your this, way. This, this is impossible. <laughs> no, don't like this. Don't, don't like this at all. Want this to be over. You can pick your blackberries. <laughs> so, just that cover, is co incredible. Cover, cover the brakes as you come over. The yeah. Road. You For really wouldn't think something this <laughs> tall, and it must be thick end of 10 feet tall. <laughs> you wouldn't think it would hold an angle like that. That's incredible. So now we've got a real challenge in hill. So it's a very steep hill. It's very badly rutted. So you need a bit of momentum to get yep. up this. Power, power, power. Keep it going. Keep it going. Don't back off. Go on, ram him, ram him, go on, ram him, go on. Keep it's it going, got keep plenty it going. of poke, this it thing. certainly has. What is it, That's 160 it. horsepower? That's it, ease off, lovely, yeah. I mean, it's not yeah. even the most powerful one, is it? It isn't, no. But it's a bi-turbo engine, which gives excellent efficiency. So you've got plenty of low-down power. Yeah. yeah. So we've got a little bit of a hill to go down now. Little bit of a hill. Little bit of a hill. I you're, think you're you might be understating <laughs> there. <laughs> yes, just a bit, mate. Just a bit. That's it. Now, so see, I can't. I can't see the drop off. No, so. <laughs> it's just as well. That's, that's not it. a hill. That's falling off the edge of the world. <laughs> so really slow. That's Go ridiculous. Down, yeah. Count every blade of grass as that, you go no, past it. No, th this, no, no. I didn't like the, <laughs> I didn't like the uh, cross angle, but this is, uh, no, 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 no. Well, it, it's doing it, it's doing it. <laughs> feels like I'm catching the ABS a bit, yeah. but apart oh, yeah. from that, feels absolutely fine. Brilliant. <laughs> How easy That's was that? That's astonishing. Yeah. So fancy bit of water though. Oh, um, okay. Well, we, have, we have got a 500 millimetre wade in depth, so right. um, this isn't quite 500 millimetres. <laughs> you told me that was a bit of a hill back there. <laughs> so really slow into the water until you get up to the full depth and then power then. So really slow. Really slow. Really slow. Okay, and then drive it now. 
kind of just felt like a bit of a puddle. Yeah. So this is really testing this is now. Secret is keep your wheels straight and just keep it moving. Ah, I see. So uh, axle articulation is key. Now just wait. Has he got himself stuck? He's got himself stuck. So when a disco you know, fails to get over it. Doesn't exactly and fill me with you, confidence. You've got to take a three and a half ton van. That's a lot say, longer. A lot longer. Doesn't have as much ground clearance. No, poor axle articulation. That's it. Right. So keep Straighten it going. up my steering. That's it. Straighten it up. Just keep it going now. Keep it moving. Go on, keep it moving, keep it this moving, go on, keep it moving, go on, keep it going, more, more power, more power, more power, go on, more power, keep it going, go on, keep it going, 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 don't back off, keep it going, 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 go on, go on, you're the man, you're the man, you're the man, yes, oh yes. How good was that? Mm. Yeah. Well, that woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> I think this would be a good time to point out that the steering's really accurate, which it makes this a lot easier yes. than yeah, might otherwise be. Yeah, yeah. It is such an easy vehicle to drive. Mm. Like this one's fitted with an automatic gearbox. Yeah. So there isn't many commercials which is fitted with an automatic gearbox, That's but true. how well suited it is to this vehicle. Oh yeah, yeah, it fits right in and it does make this kind of stuff a lot easier. It I mean, does. some traditionalists might prefer the uh, control of dealing with their own gears, but... Yeah. But you cannot be unimpressed <laughs> over that, can you? <laughs> Well, ha! Rob, that is pretty astonishing. Taking it around some, uh, around some uh, obstacles, I'd feel a bit iffy about taking a Land Rover around, and this just sailed through. I mean, I don't know if there's anything you can really compare it to, because I don't think there's any other four-wheel drive vans on the market, at least not this capable. And it's certainly a lot more capacious, a lot more versatile than like a, a Land Rover Defender, which has gone out of production now anyway, or a dual cab pickup. So uh, I think if this is what you need, you really can't, there's, there's absolutely nothing like it. In fact, if you don't need something like this, have one anyway, because it's an absolute laugh. It's incredible. That's the Sprinter 4 before. I am astonished. It's brilliant on-road. It's one of the most capable things I've ever driven off-road. To be honest, I'm ever so slightly in love with it. I kind of really want one. Thanks to Rob. That's it from Millbrook. <laughs>